Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about pumping lemma for context-free languages. In our previous classes, we already discussed about the failure case of context-free languages and we already discussed about pumping lemma for regular languages. Please watch those classes and come back here. They will help you a lot in understanding this class. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's refresh the concept of pumping lemma for regular languages. Along with that, we'll come into the concept of context-free languages, pumping lemma for context-free languages. So, you know, three, so this is the example for context-free languages. A power n, B power n. It is a context-free language, but it is not a regular language. We discussed that uh, it is not a regular language. Why it is not a regular language? What's the strings that are present here? A is followed by equal number of B's. Uh, in regular languages, we cannot do the equality count. A is followed by equal number of B's. We cannot do the counting, equality check. Why? We don't have a memory in a finite automata. That's why we cannot check. But in context-free languages, we had a memory, stack memory. That's why we can check the count, equality check for two symbols. This point we discussed in our last class. So based on that, so what's the pumping lemma for regular languages we have done? A, 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 B, B, B. This is the language. A is followed by equal number of Bs. We divide this input string into three parts, x, y power i, z. We divided it into x as a, a, a power i. We keeps on pumping this a. So if you keeps on pumping this a, if you got the strings that are present in the language, it is a regular language. Otherwise, if you, if you check for all the possibilities and prove that we are not going to get the strings that are present in the language, we say that the language is not in the regular language. That is what the logic we discussed when we discussed about pumping lemma for regular languages see here we will understand this a power i if you keeps on pumping a power one means a a a b b b a power two a a a a b b b we are keeps on pumping a but we are not keeps on pumping b so that's why regular languages can't do the count count of equality check for two symbols that's why we have taken only single pumping variable. But coming to context free languages, see here, for the same example, if you take an example like this, same example, A, 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 B, 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 if you divide the string into five parts, U, V power I, W, X power I, Z, means we are taking two pumping variables. See what happens now. U as A, V as A, A power I means pumping variable, w as a x as b and z as b b if you keeps on pumping i i is equal to 1 we'll get a a a b b b i is equal to 2 we'll get a a a a b b b b means we are getting if you take two variables here this won't work we cannot prove that uh, this language is not belonging to regular language uh, that's why we have taken only single variable here if you take two variables, two pumping variables, we can do equality check for two symbols. Uh, but context-free languages, if you want to show that the given language is not context-free language, uh, so two variables are not enough. You understand that? Uh, why, we, uh, why two variables are not enough? Uh, the example which is not context-free language is pumping is uh, a power n, b power n and c power n. Uh, means you need equality of three variable count, three symbol count here. This is not a context free language. That's why we have chosen in the context free language. We have chosen that we will divide a power n, b power n, c power n. We will divide that into five parts and two parts going to pump. Okay, that is what the essence of a, a pumping lemma for context free languages. Now coming to pumping lemma for context free languages. Pumping lemma is used to show that the given language is not context free language. So it is going to show the given language is not context free language. So how to show that a power n, b power n, c power n. We, this is the input string we have taken. Divide it into five parts. U, V, W, X, Y. U is taken as U. You check all the possibilities. And each possibility, if you show that this is not going to generate the strings that are present in the language. If you show it for all the possibilities. Yes, we can say that the given language is not a context free language. 
and we have to follow these conditions we are going to pump v power i x power i so that's why vx should be greater than or equal to 1 you, you are not supposed to take vx as epsilons there is no use of that that is the condition it is saying and the middle part vwx the whatever the possibility we consider here vwx so this should not be less than or equal to n this should be less than or equal to n what is this n you can take any n value in order to make this string as short as possible and to check all the possibilities this n has been chosen let's try to understand with an example if you take that a power and b power and c power and take n is equal to 3 this is the input string possibility 1 so whenever you take that n is equal to 3 the middle part v w x you can choose only these three A's means only A's possibilities, only B's possibilities, only C's possibilities, combination of A, B possibilities, combination of B, C possibilities, all are possible with this N value. That is enough to show that the given language is not context free language. So that's why you can take any N. So now we'll, we'll show two possibilities like that. You have to show all the possibilities. Possibility one, if you take this A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 u v power i w x power i it's not x power we are uh, in the flow we are talking it as x power i we keep some pump the x variable y so if you take u as a a a v as a w as b x as a b y as b c c c if you keep on pumping for i is equal to 1 what's what we will get a a a b b b c c c for i is equal to 2 a a a a 4 a's followed by 4 b's but there is no c's 3 c's which is this string is not present in our language a's followed by equal number of b's followed by equal number of c's that is what our language says a power n b power n c power n if you take these two variables and pump we are going to pump a b but we are not able to pump c so this possibility in this possibility we are not getting uh, the language the strings that are if you keeps on pumping we are not getting the strings that are present in this language uh, present in the language a power n b power n c power n uh, like that take another possibility we are taking one more possibility a a a b b b c c c u as a a a b v as b w as b x as c and the y as c c if you keeps on pumping v and x uh, this b c is going to pump we are missing a that is how so i is equal to 1 a a a b b b c c c i is equal to 2 a a a b b b b c c c c so in this possibility also we are not going to generate the strings that are present in the language so if you show that uh, all the possibilities are not going to generate uh, then we can say that the given language is not a context free language this is how we will show that uh, we will use pumping lemma to show that the given language is not a context free language hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you